Your eyes cannot see 3D. Even though we ourselves are three-dimensional beings living in a three-dimensional world, your eyes just cannot see 3D. To understand why that happens, you need to come with me on a short trip down the dimensions below and then start building up from there. So if you're ready for this, hop on! We start with a point. A point has no physical size, therefore it represents the zeroth dimension. So even if you zoomed in or zoomed out, a point would look the same. A point. To get the first dimension, we have to put together a series of points forming the straight line. This straight line now represents the first dimension. In this one dimensional world, you only have two ways to travel. In this case, right and left. And there can only be two kinds of objects. A point and a line set. Suppose we had a one-dimensional living being, say my brother Rupesh. Hey Mahesh. Trying to see another one-dimensional object, say a line segment. What would it look like to Rupesh? First of all, I do understand that one-dimensional living beings cannot exist, let alone have the power to see things. But you know what, just, just roll with it. Also, it's quite difficult to think of a point as a living being. So for the sake of visual representation, let me give it a face. So again, what would Rupesh see? Well, you tell me, if you were looking at this stick from a one-dimensional point of view, what would you see? Well, a point. What if you came close to it? You would still see a point. What if you went farther away from it? Now, you would still see a point. Since Rupesh's movements are restricted, let's say Rupesh could teleport. So now if Rupesh teleported over here, he could see the back end of it. Again, as just a point. So the point is, Rupesh, who's a one-dimensional being, living in a one-dimensional world, can only see points, that is, zero dimensions. Rupesh cannot even see the first dimension. He has never ever in his life seen anything more than just points. Now if we connect a series of lines perpendicular to each other, we get a 2D space. A flat land. There are loads of 2D objects, many of which you have learned in high school, like a circle, a disc, a rectangle, square, and many more. Suppose my zero-figure aunt, Aparna. Hey, Mashi, call me Apps. <laughs> okay, Apps, was a 2D flatlander. What would she see when she looks at these objects? Well, again, you tell me. Here's a disc of diameter 15 centimeters. What would you see if you looked at it from a flatlander's point of view? A line segment of 15 centimeters. Okay, what would you see if you looked at this rectangle? This is a 15 cross 8 centimeters rectangle. Again, a line segment of exactly 15 centimeters. So all the two dimensional objects appear to be a line segment, one dimensional to apps. So that means even though Apps is a two-dimensional being living in a two-dimensional world, she can only see one-dimensional line segment. So she can't even see the second dimension. Hmm, interesting. Wait a second, wait a second, hold on. Yeah, I do understand that both the rectangle and the disc looks exactly the same to the Flatlander that is a line segment, here in this case 15 centimeters. Yeah, I understand that. But what if she came closer and if she touched it? When she touches this, don't you think she'll be able to understand that this is a curvature? On the other hand, this is a straight line? Therefore, won't she be able to understand these two are not one-dimensional objects, but they are actually two-dimensional objects? Well, of course, I never said that she cannot figure out these are two-dimensional objects. She can, like you said, by touching. In fact, she can do more than just that. 
you know what she would do? She would start moving around this object. As she started moving around, she would see that the line segment remains exactly the same, 15 centimeters. And so she would be able to pretty soon figure out that this is a two-dimensional object which has the same line segment and has the same curvature. But if she started moving around this rectangle, she would see something very different. Initially, she would see a 15 centimeter line segment, but as she moves around it, that 15 centimeter starts growing and becomes 17 centimeter, the diagonal. Then it starts shrinking back to eight centimeter, the shorter side. And then again, it starts growing to 17 centimeters, the other diagonal, and then shrinks back to 15 centimeters. So she would understand that this is a different object compared to this. They are both two-dimensional. So she can understand that they are two-dimensional objects. She knows she's in a two-dimensional world. What I said is she just can't see it. All she can see is one-dimensional line segments, but she can figure out all the mathematical properties of all these two-dimensional objects. For that matter, even my bro Rupesh could figure out one-dimensional properties. By understanding how far he teleported, he can figure out how big these line segments are. But again, the point is, he can only see points. He cannot see one dimension. He has no idea what a line segment looks like. He can figure out how big it is, true, but he can never see it. Now, before we go to the third dimension, let's have a conversation between two-dimensional Aparna and one-dimensional Rupesh. We could fit Rupesh's entire one-dimensional world easily in Aparna's 2D flatland. So she can see Rupesh and his entire world, but Rupesh cannot see Aparna, not her world, because as you can see, Rupesh can only perceive left and right. Hey Rupesh, what's up? Oh, you know, teleporting and stuff. I just figured out the length of this object by doing some indirect calculation. Indirect? What are you talking about? I can easily see how big it is. What? How? And where are you? What do you mean you can see how big this is? This doesn't make any sense. We can only see points, right? Oh, that is because you are one dimensional. I am using the second dimension to observe that entire line. What is second dimension? There is only one dimension. Rupesh cannot possibly understand what second dimension is. Look, I'll prove it to you. The line you're seeing is green at the end, but in between, it's red. Oh my god, how can you possibly know that? Let me break it open. Holy crap, you're right. How could you see inside without opening it? Remember, for Rupesh, these two green dots form the surface of the objects and the red part forms the inside of it. So Rupesh is absolutely baffled about the fact that Aparna can see both the surface and the inside at the same time. He cannot possibly conceive how this is possible. <laughs> now Aparna tries to baffle him even more. Do you like magic? Mm, sure. I love magic. She's now going to pass a two-dimensional object, say this disc, through my bro's one-dimensional world. What do you think would Rupesh see? Try to think about this. Pause this video for a while and think about what would Rupesh see. Okay, let's see. As this disc enters Rupesh's world, he would see a point pop into existence out of nowhere. Oh, that point popped out of nowhere. Then this point starts growing into a line segment. It starts becoming bigger and bigger until it reaches a maximum value of the diameter. What magic is this? And then it starts shrinking back. Now it's shrinking. It becomes smaller and smaller and smaller, then becomes a point again and then pops out of existence. I have seen magic before, but this... Wait, now it's disappeared. I feel like I just saw a ghost. I'm a little scared now. Rupesh just cannot believe his eyes. <laughs> oh my god! Are you ready for another one? I'm not so sure anymore. Okay, I think it's time I had a conversation with Abs. Hey Abs, what's up? Oh, nothing. I was just having great fun with Rupesh. He just has one track mind. Get it? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I get it. 
you know i see a disc right next to you oh yeah i just figured it out by running around it that this is a two dimensional object having the same length and curvature from all angles running around i can see the entire disc all at once what how can you i am using the third dimension to look upon your two dimensional flat land so i can see your entire world and all the objects all at once nonsense there are only two dimensions yeah i will prove it to you look there's a disc right next to you i can see the entire disc the outer ring is green and the inner part is red i can also see the entire rectangle at once it contains four sides two 15 cm long and two 8 cm long whoa How could you possibly know that? Now Aparna is baffled by the fact that I can see the entire disk at once. Remember the green rim forms the outer surface of the disk for her and the red color forms the inside which she cannot possibly see without breaking the disk. But I a three-dimensional being can use a third dimension to look at the entire disk all at once. So she cannot possibly understand how I can see the outer surface and the inside of it at the same time. Also, she's baffled by the fact that I can see all the four sides of the rectangle all at once. She just cannot possibly conceive this. Now, what would happen if I pushed a three-dimensional object, say a cylinder, a hollow cylinder like this, through her two-dimensional world? What do you think would she see? Hey apps, I know you like magic. Check this out. Oh my god, the circular cage just popped into existence out of nowhere. I'm trapped inside. Help! How did you do that? <laughs> Magic. Hey, that disappeared. So you really are a three-dimensional being which I cannot possibly see? And all this while, I thought that there are only two dimensions. Haha, <laughs> you're not so superior after all, eh, apps? Huh. Ah. That finally brings us to the third dimension which is by far the easiest to understand because we live in it. So if you have followed me so far the summary is a one dimensional being cannot see the first dimension a two dimensional being cannot see the second dimension and therefore the three dimensional beings like us cannot see the third dimension. Booya. Our eyes can only see two dimensional shapes. Take this ball and a disc for example. Both of them look exactly the same, a two-dimensional circle. Now of course you can touch it, feel its curvature, move around and figure out all its mathematical properties and everything. Yes, you know it's not a 2D circle but a 3D sphere, but you cannot see it. Now take this cube for example. What does it look like? a square even if i turned it you can only see two dimensional shapes in fact all the three dimensional objects that you have ever seen in your entire life your eyes have only seen two dimensional shapes your eyes cannot see 3d wait 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 if our eyes cannot see the third dimension which means without moving around If we cannot figure out how far things are from us, how is it that when I stand here in my room, I can figure out exactly which objects are closer to me and which objects are farther away? Why does it feel like I can't perceive this three-dimensional depth even without touching or moving around? That is a brilliant question that my twin has asked. In fact, the whole point of this episode was to build up that question in your mind. So if even you are having that same question, that means this episode has fulfilled its purpose. So what's the answer? Well, as of now I can say it is all because of the fact that we have amazing brains. But if you want to investigate more and figure out exactly how our brains convert this two-dimensional information into three dimensions and also know how we use this knowledge to build 3D television. And finally, if you want to see a three-dimensional photo without using any glasses, Then I will see you. Wait, wait, on one, the last, next one last, one last, one last question. Don't so, stop, don't stop. Wait, what? wait. What? 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 What if there was a fourth dimension 
and I mean the fourth spatial dimension containing four dimensional beings. How would they see us? How would this entire three dimensional world look like to them? Well, that's a good question, but unfortunately, I think we could never figure out exactly what they would see. Because we three dimensional beings cannot possibly conceive the fourth spatial dimension. We just cannot imagine what fourth spatial dimension would look like to us. Having said that, we can get some clues of what they would be able to see by using our knowledge of the lower dimensions. For example, just like how I could see all the four sides of the rectangle and the inside of it all at once, the four dimensional beings would be able to see all the six sides of this cuboid all at once. How freaky would that be? And not just that, they can see the inside of it and the outer surface all at the same time, which means they would be able to read all the pages without even having to open this book. Say, if I had kept a thousand bucks in a two-dimensional safe and locked it, any flatlander could only see or access it by unlocking and opening the door. But we, three-dimensional beings, can easily see the thousand bucks. And not just that, I could even steal it without having to open or break it using the third dimension. It would just pop out of existence of the second dimension. Did it go? Similarly, thousand bucks which I have kept in this box, you and I cannot see without opening the box. But a four dimensional creature, he would be able to see all the six sides, the inside of it, and therefore he would be able to see the thousand bucks. And not just that, he would be able to access it and steal it from the three dimensional world and it would just pop out of existence. But for me to access it, I have to actually open the box and Hey, where did it go? Even human beings would look very different to them. They would be able to see the front of my head, the back of my head, the top, the bottom. They would be able to see inside the skull and the brain and everything all at the same time. So what do you think? Does the fourth dimension and four dimensional beings exist? <laughs> Absolutely not. There are only three dimensions and dimensional beings exist. Yeah, it's fun to think about the fourth dimension, but there are no experiments that have shown that there are four dimensions. So there are only three dimensions. Hey, this subscribe ball popped out of nowhere. Huh. Wait, it's growing in size? Whoa, how is that happening? Oh wait, now it's shrinking back. You better hit the subscribe button before it shrinks out of existence. So until then, stay tuned and I'm gonna try and figure out what the hell happened. One dimensional. I'm... Oh, that is because you are one dimensional. You are one dimensional. I am using this... <laughs> Oh, that is because you are one dimension. I am using the second dimension. One dimension, my <laughs> That is because you are one dimension. The line you are seeing is green at the end. <laughs> Heavily conscious of all. <laughs> oh, that is because you are one dimensional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is because you are one dimensional. Entire. Entire. <laughs> oh my god. Entire. Entire. Oh, that is because you are one dimensional. I am using the second dimension to. The entire line. That entire line. Do you want to question? Entire. Entire. Oh, that is because you are one dimensional. I am using the second dimension to observe that entire line. Are you ready for another? <laughs> another. 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 Are you ready for another one? Are you ready for another? <laughs> another. 
another one. <laughs> Get it? Huh? 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 Huh?